When all my slots are empty, you better fill me up. I smile for joy when I see that big old truck. There's a little Philippine. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Bevner. This is episode 48 for May 20th, 2011. I'm your host, Jason Coleman, and we're outside because it's Staycation 2011. That's right. I'm on vacation from my job, filling vending machines up all day long, working for the man. So uh, I decided this is a, it's a beautiful night in Gadsden, Alabama, and I decided that I would spend this spring evening doing an episode on my porch, on my porch swing, like an Alabamian should do, right? Yes. Um, perfect uh, drink idea for tonight will be the new Fago Pineapple Watermelon Soda. Um, they sent this to me, uh, I believe, yesterday, so I believe it's just as good as time as any to enjoy it. I believe the, the, the mood and temperature outside is perfect to enjoy this fruity soda. And as far as the snack today is concerned, I've got two I'm going to try, but one's going to be a surprise until the end. Um, but uh, what will be featured today is the Betty Crocker Sweet Rewards 7 Layer Bar. So. Um, I've been keeping my eyes peeled on this one for a while. Um, this has actually been sitting in one of my stops. Uh, they've had these on display for a while. But with summer rolling around, the, the Jacksonville State Bookstore put all their candy and everything like that two for a dollar. So I definitely got one for me and one for my great wife, Amanda. And also, we got a live studio audience tonight. Yes, we have Callie the dog, Lulu the dog, and Lionel the cat acting like a creeper. Um, quick note. I got some Zenify in the mail to try. Uh, I had one today, but since this is primarily a function beverage, I'm going to keep drinking these for the next few days to really get a grasp on what I want to do and say about it. I will say, however, it tastes pretty good. And that's all you get to know for now. Um, but let's go ahead and, you know, this is going to be a laid back show. Um, not usual, uh, you know, ruckus and whatnot. We're just going to try stuff and call it a night because I had a delicious dinner of spaghetti with Newman's own uh, Socceroonie sauce and ground turkey so it was pretty good and she about fell but anyways the seven layer bar is a graham base like graham crackers a graham base with chocolate caramel nuts and coconut uh, it looks pretty good at least on the outside so let's go ahead and get this open and I will have a steady, steady hand to hold this up for the camera. All right, here's a close-up and personal view of the seven-layer bar. There's the gram, the gram bottom or base. There's the chocolate. I see uh, milk chocolate morsels, peanut butter morsels, coconut. I believe I see some peanut and what looks like to be a pecan. How many layers is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's try it. Graham base is probably more like rednecks sure love revving their engines. Woo! Yeehaw! Uh, that was the worst yeehaw ever, and I apologize. They're doing donuts! They're doing donuts in the GameStop parking lot. <laughs> Anyways, let's talk about this. The Graham base is chewy, kind of like a granola bar. Um, the top you definitely get the coconut. The coconut and the texture really is what pops at the beginning. The chocolate on top is more like a fudge, which is nice. Um, there's lots of flavors and textures going on here. This is pretty nice. I also could assume that you could warm this up for maybe five seconds in the microwave, and this would be even better. However, I don't really love the graham base. I was really expecting this to be more like a cake instead of a granola bar. It's kind of too chewy and it kind of takes away because you get tired of chewing it. However, the taste is good um, as far as the toppings that go on it. I don't know, I think I might have psyched myself out by staring at this so many times when it was at the store and I was kind of hoping for this to be a little bit better. But as far as the toppings and the fudge go, they're good. But I don't really, I don't really like the gram, the gram base. 
which kind of stinks because that's really the big focal point in this um, snack. Not fantastic, but not awful. It's just kind of in the middle. But I think I'm going to wash that down with the pineapple watermelon fago. If you can't see this at home, it's got like a nice red orange tint to it. It's definitely a unique color of soda because it's not red and it's not orange. It's both of them. Red orange. Like those Crayola crayons. Or is it orange red? You never know. Ooh, you definitely get the pineapple right off the bat and then that watermelon is chasing it. Which hence why it's called pineapple watermelon. <laughs> but in the flavor department you get both pineapple and watermelon equally at the same time. It's kind of strange. It's kind of good. Like this would be a perfect flavor for like some sort of gum. But uh, the carbonation is there. It's not too carbonated, but there is some carbonation. It's sweet, however not too sweet. And, and the consistency of the soda is, is, is as far as like medium or heavy, or light, it's probably in the medium. It's not too light, like um, like maybe soda sweetened with sugar or cat or, or sugar-free sodas. But it's not syrupy like some like like sodas can be that are sweetened with corn syrup. It's kind of got a nice balance. But yeah, you get you get the watermelon taste and it's good, and then the pineapple taste doesn't overwhelm it. It's very nice. I like this. It's, it's, it's a perfect drink for like a nice spring or summer night just sitting outside. It's, re it's really a perfect mix. Mm. I can't wait till this hits stores around here. This is pretty good. It tastes like a good high quality soda. I like it. Mm. And it's 24 ounces and it's probably only 99 cents. But it is uh, it's caffeine free, naturally and artificially flavored. However, you know, it doesn't taste like, I don't know, like real juices in it because it's a soda and it doesn't have any juice in it, but flavor tastes more, it tastes authentic enough to where it would pass my taste test and it, and it is pretty good because Fago does have a lot of like fruit flavors. Um, Fago pineapple watermelon, it's pretty good. I, I, I recommend it. It's pretty good. Hey, is it pretty good? It's pretty good. You darn tootin'. Um, Anyways, like I was talking about, we got a third snack, or actually a third product, which is a second snack. Um, as, as some of you that follow the news heard today on May 20th, um, WWF, WWE legend wrestler, macho man Randy Savage himself passed away today due to a heart attack slash car wreck. Um, as some of you may know, I was a professional wrestler for a good, good part of 10 years. And I will go on record saying that Macho Man Randy Savage and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat at WrestleMania 3 still holds up today. And it's probably one of my favorite matches of all time. Top 5 easy. I think that it would be a perfect way to honor the Macho King sometimes, Randy Savage, by eating a Slim Jim. Because you know how the saying goes, kids. Oh, snap it to a Slim Jim! That's oh yeah! The Macho Man! So rest in peace Randy Savage. You are a true legend, one of the best of all time. Anyways, that about wraps up this week's episode of BevNerd Video Podcast. Check us out at BevNerd.com. Like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. That's Facebook.com slash BevNerd and at BevNerd. Send me an email at BevNerd at gmail.com. And hey, people who don't use social networks that still watch the show, Send me an email, and ask, you know I want to ask you: Would you want a like some sort of mailing list to keep up with the bad nerd stuff that I put on the Facebook or Twitter? But you don't necessarily use those. Let me know, and I will make a mailing list to keep those in the know. In the know. Anyways, I'm I'm on vacation. I'm gonna kick back, play some video games, watch WrestleMania three again. Um, I'll probably put put some more videos up throughout the week, little clips of my boredom and things that poor people do in Alabama. Deuces!